I want to make the most out of my class time with my students, so I ask them to review material before class. And then I start every class with a short quiz on that review material. Make sure you close your computers or whatever devices, but your notes are out. You're going to need your calculator for this one. In a standard lecture class, the quiz is based on the previous lecture's notes. Now when I teach the class in a flipped or blended mode, then the quiz is based on the online videos that they're supposed to watch before class. The quiz is meant to be done in about 30 seconds and is often very conceptual. This particular one here is unusual because it does require a calculator, though it is pretty simple. There are a number of benefits of two-minute quizzes that relate back to pedagogical reasons, going back to the principles of learning that I've covered in other videos. One is that by uh, reviewing the material needed for class, you're activating memory. That means you're better prepared for the new material you're going to cover in class. Another thing is it tests understanding of basic concepts and skills. So this goes back to formative assessment or goal-directed practice and timely feedback. So you give them the answer and they know right away, did they know it or didn't they know it? Another thing tests a, a higher level or encourages higher level thinking, critical thinking, on identifying the fundamental concepts. They had to prepare for class. Then they had to decide, well, was this an important concept or wasn't it? And then focus on those. So it's a formative assessment based on their ability to determine what's important or not important. Best way to succeed in developing these sorts of quizzes, keep it short, keep it conceptual. Not a lot of tedious uh, calculations, very conceptual. Keep less than five minutes in class, including your explanation, so don't drag it on. Low risk, small point total. Maybe it's extra credit on the class. Maybe it's worth 5% of the grade, but then you drop the lowest like five of them. And then finally, it should relate directly to the material needed for the day. So you give the quiz and you use that as a launching pad to immediately jump into the material for the day. When I first walk into the classroom, I hear students saying things like, I bet she's going to ask this or that question. They're actually thinking critically and making qualitative judgments on what topics are important. I give them at most two minutes to complete the quiz. Then I collect it and go over the answer so they get immediate feedback. I generally pick a topic that would lead right into the lecture material that I'll cover that day. You can solve this in terms of the maximum. This is the maximum. And Q is equal to I maximum times V maximum divided by 2. So this kind of leads into what we wanted to talk about today because we wanted to go through using these sort of equations in analyzing circuits. So we're going to be looking at some examples with more complicated circuits like this and trying to figure out what the um, this reactive power is and, and everything else.